If you are a super achiever where nothing's ever going to be good enough, and you are constantly in competition with everybody, and now realize it might be hurting your life, this is going to be the perfect book summary for you. I do believe in self-help and achieving, obviously that's why I made this channel, but if the stress is taking a negative toll on your life, it's maybe time to pull back just a bit. Today we're going to go over Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. It's a simple self-help book sharing a deep philosophical take on life. Richard Carlson recommends we take life less bit seriously and we prioritize peace of mind, love, and relationships over the stresses of overworking and, quote unquote, achieving. Number one, choose relaxed over competitive. The author says it's not true that to achieve and get things done, we need to be competitive and stressed out. It's best to approach life with a relaxed and contemplative attitude instead. And you should never lose the ability to relax and take a breather whenever you need one especially after having worked hard. Here are a couple of great ways to enjoy a more relaxed life. Stop living life according to others. Stop trying to please others. And you can't please everyone, so stay true to yourself instead. Let go of your ego. We are all driven by a need to look good and important. When we give in to these cravings, we can do things that hurt the people around us, sometimes even in very small ways like jumping in to fix a mistake so that we can look good or trying to impress them with how good we are. But when we focus on impressing instead of understanding, we hurt our relationships. Much better instead to take a step back from our own ego. Let go of resentment and the need to be right. Sometimes we harbor resentment out of small fights or little things someone said or did. When we let that happen, we unwittingly turn small things into big ones. In most cases, it's better not to argue than to be right. Avoid it altogether by keeping small things small and letting go of the need to be right. Spread the love. Remind the people you love that you love them and cut some slack to the people who annoy you. Chances are that nobody is actually out to annoy you, but that you are just having a bad day yourself. Treat yourself well by treating others well. Your thoughts are your reality. Our lives is a reflection of our own thoughts. And if we change our thoughts, we can change our reality. Similar as many self-development authors like Tony Robbins recommended, Richard recommends that when you're feeling negative, you deliberately change your thoughts to something more positive. The author says that a good way to take control of your mind and your thought is to spend some time alone. This is like meditation, yoga, or a walk in nature. Don't fight against your problems. The author says that a great obstacle to thinking positively is not the problem, but it's actually how we approach the problems. We should not approach problems as if we need to fight against them. We should approach them as an opportunity to learn from and focus on what you have instead of what's missing. Don't be a perfectionist. Some people think that being a perfectionist will bring out the best in us, but Carlson instead says that perfectionism will only make us unhappy by focusing on what we did wrong. When you're stressed out, when you feel like you really destroyed your chance to achieve X, or when you get fired and everything seems bleak, stop for a second and tell yourself that nothing is an emergency. And then go do something that makes you happy or get in touch with someone you love. Prioritize relax. The one thing that we often seem to procrastinate on is relaxing time. Indeed, in my opinion, the highest achievers among us will often feel bad even when relaxing. Thus, they have no relaxing time at all. It's time you start planning some time for yourself instead, without putting it off any further. It might take a while to get used to that relaxing time is an important part of our lives. Like with anything else, stick with it, and it will eventually become part of who you are. And of course, don't sweat the small stuff. And it's all small stuff. I absolutely, absolutely love this title, and it summarizes a great approach to life. No matter what you do, it's not going to matter much anyways. And that's truly empowering. But I hope this helped, and if you got value from this video, like it. If you have any interesting comments, comment down below. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you did feel like supporting this channel in a huge way, there is a link down below to buy me a coffee, which I would love because that's the fuel I use for these late nights till 4am working on content for you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Let's continue to move in silence.